Welcome back, darling. I'm still Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and you're watching Hollywood Scares. Now, Hollywood is full of frightening things, you know. Old, decrepit mansions, haunted hotels, scripts written by Joe Esterhouse. Boy, this town is so scary. The English patient won best picture. Boy, it's enough to make you scream. <laughs> Speaking of things that'll make you scream, the Halloween episode of Friend or Foe is coming up next. Ah, friend or foe, it causes one to reflect on life, doesn't it? Friends, pets, sea monkeys. You know, my dog was my best friend. Then one day, Price is Right was on, and Bob Barker told me to spay or neuter my pet. Well, I did, and little Igor ran away. More like hobbled away. See, I was his best friend, and I became his worst foe. <laughs> Whoa, memory recovery. Not good. Well, let's get back to Hollywood Scares and the Halloween episode of Friend or Foe. Hello there, I'm Kennedy, your diva of Halloween darkness. Welcome to a very special Halloween edition of Friend or Foe. We're about to enter a realm of untold madness and unspeakable horror, the world of scary relationships. Today we have pairs of people who know each other all too well. People who they prefer not to meet with, speak with, or be in a dark alley with ever again. And together these teammates will move through a world of mistrust, knowledge, and betrayal. They'll work together to build a trust fund and ultimately decide whether to share the money as friends or fight over it as fiends here on Friend or Foe. Welcome back to Friend or Foe's Halloween show. It's time to meet our players. Our first player is Pierre. I work as a security guard and play basketball for fun. My girlfriend, Jamie, is constantly accusing me of cheating on her. She won't give me any space and even looks at my email. But there are always two sides to every story. Let's hear what Jamie has to say. I'm a model and I write poetry. My ex-boyfriend, Pierre, was always emailing other girls and talking to him on the phone, even when I was in the other room. I had good reason to be suspicious, seeing as how he's cheated on all his other girlfriends. Next, we have Ian. I manage a bar at night and play volleyball during the day. I was forced to fire one of my bartenders, Silo, because he got drunk on the job and danced naked on top of the DJ booth. Wonder if he had highballs. <laughs> but it takes two to disco. Let's see what Tylo has to say for himself. I'm a bartender and experienced scuba diver. Ian used to encourage all his bartenders to, you know, drink and have a good time. I cannot believe he fired me. You know, I thought we were friends. And next there's Lauren. I'm a senior sales manager and I enjoy playing softball. I recently broke off my engagement with Arthur because he let his younger brother, his sister, and his sister's son move into our house and I really felt trapped. But let's give Arthur the final word. I'm the lead man for a pharmaceutical company and I compete in triathlons, but I gave up my training regimen to spend more time with Lauren. I bought her whatever she wanted and believe me, she had expensive taste. But instead of looking for a job, Lauren spent all her time looking at trash TV. It looks like our players have lots of spooky skeletons in their closets. But now, it's time to choose your partners. Pierre, who did you choose? Art. Mm. Ian, who did you select? Jamie. Mm-hmm. Lauren, who did you pick? Tylo. Our players have chosen well. But unfortunately, as you know, on the Halloween edition of Friend or Foe, the rules are a bit different. We do the pairing. We're going to have some fun today and put each of you with your scary partner. That means Pierre, you and your spooky ex-girlfriend Jamie are a team. Ian, you and your scary employee that you fired, Tylo, are a team. And Lauren, your frightening ex-fiancé, Art, and you are a team. Our teams have been formed. The test of knowledge and mistrust is about to begin when we return to Friend or Foe. Hey there, stay tuned for more Hollywood Scares on Game Show Network.
This portion of Hollywood Scares is brought to you by M&M's Chocolate Candies. Have them at your Halloween party. Welcome to the Gam Gort. Checking in? Yeah. Would you like a free newspaper in the morning? Sure. And how about our turndown service with a complimentary chocolate on your pillow? Great. Can I watch TV? No. It's Family Feud Fridays. Get your fill of fast and furious feuding from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. You can pass or you can play. You gotta play, Richard. When? Friday. Now, Friday is more than just a word that ends in Y. It's Family Feud Friday. Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern only on Game Show Network. I hunt and gather better online. Well, that's obvious. I am so hungry, I could eat a moose. What do you got? Settle for some beef noodle soup. Condensed soup? Yeah. We're supposed to be getting back to nature, not childhood. But I like this. There's a better tasting soup. Progresso grilled steak? Big chunks of grilled beef, hearty veggies. See the difference? Mmm, this is better. Can I have yours? It's time to go to the better taste, the Progresso. Presenting the all-new Swanson. Cheek. In a TV dinner sort of way. Swanson. Food that's in fashion. During the Suzuki year-end clearance, you'll get the best prices of the year. Start with zero down. Zero percent financing for five years, and now for a limited time, you'll also get $1,000 customer cash for the best price all year on the hot new Aereo. The XL7 SUV and every O2 model. Every Suzuki also comes with America's best warranty for 100,000 miles, making Suzuki America's best value. Take a test drive now before the Suzuki year-end clearance is over. Hurry in. Now there's a patch designed to come off at night so nicotine can't disturb your sleep. Introducing the 16-hour step-down patch from Nicotrol. It helps you beat cigarettes one craving at a time. And with Nicotrol, you're twice as likely to succeed than with cold turkey. The new Nicotrol 16-hour step-down patch helps beat cigarettes one craving at a time. Start with a pledge you trust. Pledge is a good product. It's really the only one I know to use on wood. Add the power of orange oil. Pledge with orange oil. Seems to break up the grease. We're degreasing the muck. It's actually removing the dirt. Look at the difference. Pledge orange oil makes everything look better. It makes everything shine. It's not just orange oil. It's Pledge Orange Oil. S.C. Johnson & Family Company. And be sure to try new Pledge Wipes with Orange Oil for a quick, convenient clean. Okay, we have a very special birthday show with some real magicians. That's good. And their names are Siegfried and Roy. And that's better. <laughs> like new cookies and a crunchy cookie, that's good. And your favorite candy, that's better. Cookies and M&M's, Snickers, Twix, Milky Way. New cookies and, and is better. Bella! Which one's Siegfried? behind the eight ball now, fool. You ain't dialing 1-800-COLLECT. Does it really matter? 1-800-COLLECT saves at least a buck or two. That's good. Thank you. Dial it and save. 1-800-COLLECT. Save a buck or two. Look at our son. College boy. I'm so proud. I'm just glad to be home. You know what I miss most? Golden grams. I think I'm gonna have a bowl when I get home. Heck, I might eat them all. <laughs> The irresistible taste of Golden Grahams. Go get your own. For a limited time, you can get a full version DVD of The Muppets Take Manhattan, Buddy, Bear in the Big Blue House, or Jackie Chan Adventures. One free inside these specially marked boxes of General Mills cereals. <laughs> Classic Hollywood Squares every night at 7 p.m. Eastern. What are you laughing at? Oh, shut up. terrifying Halloween show and since our three spooky teams are in game position and none of you have attacked each other yet I'm going to place two hundred dollars into each of your trust funds mm -hmm. that's right in this round there are four questions worth five hundred dollars each 
Both players must agree on an answer and lock it in at the same time in order to score. You have 15 seconds for each question. Are you guys ready for your first question? Yeah. 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 I feel a little animosity, and that's good. <laughs> According to People Magazine's State of the Date poll, 62% of the women surveyed have gone out with what type of guy? Coworker, married man, cousin, or neighbor? And begin. I think married man. Let's, let's go to co let's just go with co-worker. Co-worker? Okay. Yeah. Co-worker. That's good? Yeah. Co-worker. I say co-worker. 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 Co Married man. All right, our three teams have locked. Pierre and Jamie, you think they've gone out with the co-worker. Ian and Tylo, you say it was the married man. Lauren and Art, you also went for the co-worker. The correct answer is co-worker. Yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah. Here's your next question. If your partner told you to take a long walk off a short pier, from which state could you not land in the ocean? Virginia, New Hampshire, Delaware, or Vermont? And begin. New Hampshire. New Hampshire? Yeah. No, no. Uh, let's go Vermont. Vermont, yeah. Virginia, Virginia. I'm feeling you on that. All right. Vermont? Vermont. Let's say Vermont. Okay. Vermont. Our three teams have locked. Pierre and Jamie, you guys agreed on Virginia. Ian and Tylo, you guys said Vermont. Lauren, you and Art said Vermont. And the correct answer is Vermont. Here's your next question. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, approximately how many first marriages end in divorce? 25%, 66%, 50%, or 90%? And again. I say it's 60%. It's got to be 60%. I don't know, though. That's pretty high. No, because 90 is too high. I think 25 so Divorced. No, divorced. You know how much divorce is? It's year 2000. Dude, uh, all right, ding dong. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You want to go 66? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, hold okay. it down, hold it down, hold it down. 66. Okay, 66. Okay, 66. All right, our three teams have locked. Pierre, you and Jamie say 66%. Ian, you and Tylo say 66%. Lauren and Art also say 66%. The correct answer, 50%. Lauren and Art, you are leading. You've got $1,200 in your trust fund. Ian and Tylo, you have 700. Pierre and Jamie, you also have 700. Going into this last question. If your boss starts yelling at you on Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. and keeps going for 2,400 minutes, when would he finally shut up? Wednesday at 9 p.m.? Wednesday at 11.30 p.m.? Thursday at 7.30 a.m. or Thursday at 12 p.m. And begin. Thursday 7.30 a.m. I'm in bed on this one. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Which one? Thursday 7.30 a.m. Thursday 7.30 p.m. Oh, yeah. Thursday 7.30. Thursday 7.30. Okay. Okay. All right, our three teams have locked. Pierre and Jamie, you guys say Thursday at 7.30 a.m. Ian, you and Tylo say Thursday at 7.30 a.m. Lauren and Art also say Thursday, 7.30 a.m. The correct answer is Thursday, 7.30 a.m. Well, that means that Lauren, you and Art are going into the next round. You have $1,700 in your trust fund, but we do have a time here in Jamie. You've got $1,200 in your trust fund. Ian and Tylo, you also have $1,200 right now. However, the team who took longest to answer the questions will be eliminated. Pierre, you and Jamie didn't take too long. You guys are also moving on to the next round. Yes, yeah, yeah. Thank God. That's so Ian much. and Tylo. Oh man. You did take a long time. Uh, Therefore, you guys are eliminated, and now you have to choose friend or foe. Oh, Tylo and Ian. Inside this trust box, you each have a button which you will use to indicate friend or foe. This decision will determine how your trust fund is divided. If you both choose friend, you split your earnings, each getting $600. However, if one of you chooses friend and the other breaks trust by choosing foe, foe gets the entire $1,200, friend gets nothing. If you each choose foe, you both leave here empty-handed. And wait a second, you fired him for dancing naked on the bar, right? Right, right. Well, this should be interesting. I'm going to give you each a moment to tell your side of the story. Ian, you go first. You got naked on top of the DJ booth, and I had to do my job. Ooh, hard guy. Tylo, any response? Well, I think it's uh, a little unfair to do that, since when you were a bartender, when we were going to Cancun, you had done that, and you got a slap on the wrist, and then when you become manager, and I do it, I get fired. I think you're a hypocrite. All right. 
right. Well, the time for talk is over. Each of you please slip a hand inside the trust box. It's time to choose friend or foe. Oh, time's up. Your decision is locked. Please place your hands on the table. The suspense is killing me. $1,200 is on the line. Let's see who's a friend and who's a foe. You went friend. You went foe. You're taking home $1,200. <laughs> Revenge is sweet, isn't it? <laughs> Why did you go friend? I don't know. I, I thought uh, he may have had a change of heart. You know, I was oh, doing my job. And, wrong show. Yeah. Two teams are left standing. Will our team be as blissful as unsuspecting newlyweds at the Bates Motel, or will they be spiteful as Frankenstein and his hissing bride? Find out when we return to Friend or Foe. Present some papers to the court. When an ambitious attorney collides with a desperate father. He says you're bankrupt. Darn, I gotta go. Oh, man, don't leave me out here like this. Sorry, better luck next time. They become trapped in a cycle of violence that neither man can escape. Can you give me back my life? Can you give me that? Pay-per-view presents Academy Award nominee Samuel L. Jackson and Academy Award winner Ben Affleck in a suspense thriller that will leave you breathless. Changing Lanes, now on pay-per-view. Rated R for language. Something's coming. Something you didn't expect. Something you won't believe. Haunted Travels Week on the Travel Channel with your enchanting host, Melissa Joan Hart. From haunted hotels to ghostly castles, she'll show you what's really lurking in the shadows. Scared? She'll hold your hand. <laughs> haunted Travels Week, all this week at 8, only on the Travel Channel, Channel 220. The Mantis Tiller Cultivator is making gardening easier for everyone. The Mantis is lightweight and easy to use, yet it will cut through hard soils and dig down to 10 inches deep. Weeding and cultivating, even in tight places, is a snap. And with the Mantis attachments, quality, performance, and rugged defendability, you'll enjoy years of versatile service. The Mantis Tiller is now available at factory direct prices. So call for your free information pack with details on our one-year money-back guarantee. Ready to take control of your credit card debt? Credit Guard of America cut my monthly payments in half. Credit Guard of America is a nonprofit service that's helped thousands of people to move on with their lives. Credit Guard of America saved me over $13,000 in interest fees alone. Call now to reduce your monthly payments. Cut the interest rates on your credit cards by up to half and get your unsecured debt paid off years earlier. Don't you owe it to yourself to work with a real nonprofit service? Certified counselors are standing by. Call 800-413-0862. Girls sing with me. Feels good socks are so comfortable. They make you feel good all over. Haynes Comfort. It's a beautiful thing. Why do my craft singles taste so good? Because every single one is filled with magic. Just follow me. It's the dairy fairy who waves her magic wand and mixes milk, magic, and fun. Two out of three kids don't get the recommended amount of calcium. Luckily, when they eat Kraft Singles, they're getting calcium they need and the taste they love. That's why America spells cheese K-R-A-F-T. And now try new Kraft Rip'ems. American cheese strips you rip. Make it a call. Don't get burned by a high rate. Get Minute Pass. With Minute Pass, I know I get cheap rates because I buy my minutes up front. Just pick the size that's right for you with rates as low as six cents a minute. Home or away, minute pass as you come. And my minutes never expire. When I need more minutes, I just recharge my minute pass and get bonus minutes every time. Buy one today. Call, click, or visit your local Rite Aid. Minute pass, your pass to a great low rate. In the next 15 seconds, try to pick the truthful friend or foe statement. I found her to be sincere from the first moment I saw her. She seems like a very honest girl, and I think I can trust her. All new Friend or Foe weeknights at 10.30 Eastern and Pacific. Hey guys, it's me again. Remember? Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Now you're watching the Halloween episode of Friend or Foe. It's all part of the Game Show Network's Hollywood Scares. 
perfect. I guess Kennedy's trademark is her cool-looking glasses, huh? Seems to work for her. I mean, I don't think Kennedy has bad eyesight. I think she just wears them to get attention. You know, I used to wear glasses to get attention, and it worked, let me tell you. Of course, I didn't wear them on my face. <laughs> oh, well, let's get back to the Halloween episode of Friend or Foe and more Hollywood Scares. <laughs> To round two of Friend or Foe's special Halloween show. Normally on Friend or Foe, our teammates don't know each other, but today it's a different story. Not only do they know each other, they don't like each other. We've got Pierre and Jamie, their ex-boyfriend and ex-girlfriend. So far, they've got $1,200 in their trust fund. And we have Lauren and Art, who just broke off their engagement. They've got $1,700 in their trust fund. Anything in this round can happen because we double the value of each question to one thousand dollars you guys ready to play yeah then come on look alive people because it sucks to be dead <laughs> all right here you go first question round two according to a survey by the kinsey institute over eight out of ten people said pornography was what educational degrading harmless or entertaining and begin degrading degrading, degrading. degrading. i'm feeling degrading okay. it's degrading Stop. entertaining entertaining okay all right, our two teams have locked in. Pierre and Jamie, you guys say it was degrading, nasty, awful. Lauren, you and Art say it was entertaining, <laughs> pleasurable, fun. <laughs> the correct answer, educational. Uh -huh. You know, what? my husband and I have learned the darndest what? things from this <laughs> Here's your next question. If you wanted to call the Teflon Don to inquire about knocking off your boss, who would you call? Lucky Luciano? Tony Soprano? John Gotti or Vito Corleone? And begin. Teflon Don, is it John Gotti? We gotta pick I some. I think it's John Gotti, it's John Gotti. Lucky Luciano. Okay, I don't know, I'm just guessing. All right, our two teams have locked. Pierre and Jamie, you think it's John Gotti? Lauren, you and Art say Lucky Luciano. The correct answer is John Gotti. Yeah. Oh, oh, Pierre and Jamie. Ah, oh, loser. To with, but not quite. Here's your next question. If your partner is gamophobic, what are they afraid of? Kissing, cuddling, marriage, or kids? And begin. Oh my God. Gamophobic, gamophobic, phobic. Marriage. 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 You marriage. I'm thinking it's marriage. Let's do it. Let's do it. Our two teams have locked. Pierre and Jamie, you locked on marriage. Lauren and Art, you also locked on marriage. The correct answer is marriage. Gamophobia is the fear of marriage. Lauren and Art, you just broke off your engagement. Which of you is gamophobic? <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> Lauren. All right, we've learned so much about you in so little time. Well, here's your fourth and final question of the second round. Pierre, you and Jamie are in the lead with 3,200. Jamie, you and Art, not far behind with 2,700. This next one's still worth 1,000, so you guys could surpass if you play your cards right. According to a divorce magazine poll, what did most people point to as the strongest factor behind the breakup of their marriage? Money, infidelity, drugs, or bad communication? And begin. It's, it's bad communication. You want to go back to bad communication? Communication. communication? Yeah. Are you sure? How sure are you? Uh, it's between infidelity and infidelity. No, what about and money? No. Drugs, no. Bad communication, okay, whatever. Our two teams have locked. Pierre, you and Jamie locked on bad communication. Lauren and Art, you also locked on bad communication. The correct answer is infidelity. Oh, really? Neither of you score on that one. <sighs> However, Pierre and Jamie, you guys are moving on to the final round because you have $3,200 in that trust fund. Lauren and Art, <sighs> you are off $2,700. That's not enough. You're eliminated. But now you have to choose friend or foe. Hmm, I wonder what it'll be. Come on out to the trust box. Welcome to the trust box. Art, Lauren, your trust fund is worth $2,700. Lauren, I know you broke off your engagement with Art, so there may not be a lot of trust left in this relationship, but I'm going to give each of you a moment to speak your mind, Lauren. 
You go first. I, I just want to say that I've been honest throughout this whole relationship. I've never given you a reason not to believe me or to trust me. And I'm not going to start lying now. And I'm going to be just honest. So I'd rather go home with half of something than half of nothing. What do you have to say? Lauren, you just left without giving me a chance to uh, sit down and communicate. Just talk to me. Mm. I got your ring. You know, one part of uh, getting into any marriage is being able to trust and understand and talk to somebody. Mm. And you just left. Oh, Lauren, God, this tension gives me a headache. You've each had your say. Please slip your hands inside the trust box. It's time to choose friend or foe. Time's up. Your decision is locked. Please place your hands on the table. There's obviously still a lot of pain here. With $2,700 on the line, let's see if we can somehow bridge the gap. What have you decided to do with the money? You going friend or foe? You went friend and you went foe. Lauren, you're too Woo! back yes! once again. You lied the whole time. My turn to lie. You suck. Art, any response? You money digging little moochie heifer. Heifer, wow. Okay, well, both of you stay right here because we're about to sing Kumbaya. Our players are being eliminated one by one. When oh, we return, God. our two remaining will go for the big bucks and then confront their dark pasts to determine if their friend or fiend will be right back with friend or foe. More of me and the Hollywood scares coming your way on Game Show Network. Let's play Russian Roulette. That's not good. <laughs> Drop in for all new episodes of Russian Roulette every night at 11 p.m. Eastern. Silverado is here. Silverado. The truck from Chevy. And that's their final timeout. 623. Got a minute? Why not whiten your teeth with new Colgate Simply White? Just apply the clear gel twice a day. You'll have whiter teeth in two weeks. The teams are back on the court. New Colgate Simply White. Giddy up, greasy spills. Giddy up, greasy fingerprints. Giddy up, greasy grime. Formula 409. With so much giddy up, it powers through greasy messes. Formula 409, the formula for grease. Giddy up 409. Welcome to our world. A very special place to be. Where children can discover all there is to see. Oh, so many friends to meet. No matter where they roam Coming through The world of little people <laughs> Is a world that's all their own Little people from Fisher-Price Discover more at fisherprice.com It's a beautiful thing. You know who that is? Mickey! What about the man? That's Walt Disney. The guy who came up with Mickey Mouse. He dreamed up this whole place. He could take an ordinary day, turn it into magic. He was full of fun ideas. Oh, kind of like you, Grandpa. Uh, Come share the magic at our celebration of Walt Disney's 100th birthday. We share a dream come true. Call 1407-W-Disney. Package. I got the job. I got the job. What job? Astronaut. This is my two weeks notice, okay? Yahoo! How do you, Yahoo? Yeah. 
How do you, Yahoo? Well, uh, before the new women's styles came out, we were told, we were told our role on this project would be largely ceremonial. The experts were going to handle this one. So the experts came in and uh, pretty much took over. We were able to contribute in other ways. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's too much. I'm so Oh, I spilled it. We certainly don't have to be front and center on this. No. We're all team players. Wait, wait. Yeah. There is no iron in fruit. Yeah, there is. Oh. It's a yeah, small one. Though. Oh, yeah. It, it doesn't matter. Right. I have three boys. I've always tried to do what's best for them, for their health. And one a day has helped. Still does. Especially now that I know one in three men face prostate problems. Introducing One A Day Men's Health Formula, a new way to help beat those odds. It's a complete multivitamin with 21 nutrients, plus lycopene, which Harvard studies have linked to prostate health. Sure, one in three men face prostate problems. But hopefully, not one of my three. New One A Day Men's, the multivitamin with more for your health. our final frightening round of friend or foe looks like Pierre and his ex-girlfriend Jamie have amassed thirty two hundred dollars in their trust fund so far however you caustic kitties could earn thousands more by correctly answering ten questions each right answer gives you five hundred dollars each wrong answer gives you a strike three strikes in the game is over however if you get all ten out of ten we will double the entire amount of your trust fund for a grand total of sixteen thousand $400. So let's try and do this today, guys. You have 60 seconds, 10 questions. Take a deep breath, because it's time to play right or wrong. More divorces or less divorces? Marriages preceded by living together. More. More. More divorces. Right. Nelson or Mandela? Bart Simpson's bully. Nelson. 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 Right. Guilty or liable? How a court labeled O.J. Simpson in 1997. Bible. Right. Mommy Dearest or Silence of the Lambs? The quote, no wire hangers ever. Mommy, mommy, mommy Dearest. Dearest. Right. Nixon or Carter? Salt agreement passed during their presidency. Nixon, Nixon. Right. Gun dealers or McDonald's? More of them in the United States. McDonald's. McDonald's. Wrong. Marlon Brando or Marlon Jackson? His son was Michael Jackson's bodyguard. Marlon. Marlon Dean. Brando? Yeah, Marlon Brando, Marlon Brando. Right. Man or woman? Attila the Hun. Woman. Woman, woman. Wrong. Ah. Larry King or Elizabeth Taylor? More marriages. Both. Elizabeth Taylor. No, you didn't lock in in time. You guys ran out. However, you did get six questions correct, which means we're putting an additional $3,000 into your trust fund for a total of $6,200. So, Pierre and Jamie, the only question remaining is, will you share the wealth as a show of forgiveness, or are you going to turn on each other as a final act of revenge? You have to choose friend or foe. Come on out. We have arrived at our final test of trust, Jamie and Pierre, the two of you know your options. And we know that you have an on-again, off-again relationship, and right now you're off again, because you think Pierre has been cheating on you with other women on the phone, by email, and God knows how else, Jamie. Pierre, what do you have to say about that? Well, I have to say that you should be able to trust me by now, because I have showed you nothing, proved you nothing but trust. And I'm just trying to do the best I can. And I think that if we work this out, I can change and mm. we can do something. All right. Anything else to add? No, I just feel like, of course, you should trust me because during our whole relationship, I never really did anything for you to distrust me. Mm. And that's about it. All right. The moment of truth is at hand. Please, each of you, slip a hand inside the trust box. It's time to choose friend or foe. Your decision is locked. Please take your hands out of the trust box and place them on the table. Jamie, is there anything left of this relationship? Mm, I don't know. Would you take her back, Pierre? Of course. 6,200 is up for grabs. You went friend, Pierre. 
That means either you're getting $3,100 or you're getting screwed, buddy. Jamie, let's see if you're a friend or foe. You also went friend. You guys are splitting the money. There's still love there. Can you feel the love tonight? Do you want to kiss or hug or snuggle? Go ahead. Feel free behind my back, please, so the kids at home don't see it. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on The Game, where knowledge can make you money and money can make you a friend or foe. Arrivederci.